All right, so let's go ahead and place a market order. So first things first, make sure on the upper left-hand corner of your screen that you have this market order template selected. And as you can tell, this market order template is a lot more simplified than that of the limit or conditional. With the market order, the only thing that we're concerned with is the quantity that we're looking to buy or sell. We're not setting any parameters as far as time and force, post only, reduce only, or any specific prices in advance that we're gonna be buying or selling at, or rather attempting to buy or sell at, such as using a limit order. So when we place a market order, if we were gonna be buying 100,000 contracts, we could go ahead and enter that in right here. Again, we can also adjust this with the plus or minus signs. But what we have to remember is that we're not gonna be picking a price. This is gonna be taking from the available liquidity relative to the current market price. So when we place either a buy or sell, it's gonna execute immediately. And we're gonna be takers of liquidity, so we're gonna be paying a fee. And depending on the available liquidity, compared to the amount of contracts we're looking to buy or sell, we might potentially be incurring slippage as well. So we're gonna go ahead and buy. So we'll click buy. We'll be presented with this template that we're presented in all order types, which will allow us to set our take profit, our stop loss. It's gonna show us all of those important details that pertain to our trade, such as our liquidation price, all right, our current order type, quantity, cost, and so forth. Uh, and now when we go ahead and execute this trade, it's going to immediately place us in the position. So there was no waiting. We didn't need someone to be a counterparty for us, um, or rather to hit into our order, such as limit order. What we did is we took liquidity, we took that available liquidity from that book. Uh, in this case, we took it from the offer and we entered in immediately. So that's how you go ahead and place a market order. If you were doing a sell order, it'd be the exact same thing. So I'll close this market out at market. All right, so I'll go ahead and sell 100,000 contracts, same thing confirm and we're immediately entered into that sell position.